Yo, what is good everyone? So today I want to show you how I created this accordion using React. So it's fairly basic and simple and essentially accordions are little drop down to showing different information. So typically you see these with like frequently asked questions on websites. But here I decided to find the most random jokes I could on the internet and then show you that as the example. So the first one here is what do you call a dog magician? Click it to check it out on the animation. A labra cadabrador, all right? I know it's cringe, it's cringe. We can see here, this is what basically we're gonna make. We got the little plus sign and then it drops it down. And then also I click here, what do you call a funny mountain? This one's hilarious. Oh my goodness, these jokes. I don't know who made these jokes up, but uh, and the last one here is what did the astronaut say when he crashed into the moon? And he was like, it's my bad, I apologize. All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop with that, guys. But let's just get into the code editing. Let me show you how I built this. So in order to create this, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the terminal and create the React app. So go ahead, open up your terminal and just type in npx, then create dash React dash app, and let's just call this React Accordion. And I'll just put YT for YouTube and I'll just put it version one. You can name it whatever you like. And once that finishes up, I will see you once it's completed. So it is done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and CD into this. So React Accordion YT dash version one. And then I have VS code. So I'll just type in code dots. Auto opens for me. And then here we can just drag this over. And let me just exit over here. Let me just close this. And I can just do command J. And I have yarn, so I'll just do yarn start. It's probably gonna ask me to make an MV file, so let me just do that really quick. So let's just, if you have this error, you can follow along .env, but if you don't, you can just copy this line here. And actually, yeah, if you don't have this, you can ignore this, but if you have it, just do that. And again, if you have npm, just do npm start. So let me just say yarn start again. And let's just bring this down here. So let me drag it over here and then let's keep it like, yeah, that looks good. So we go to SRC. Uh, first thing, let's just get rid of the logo. Don't need it. And index, I don't need this here. So technically I can just go to the app. We can get rid of this logo here. I can just go in here type in random stuff so it loads and index let's check it make sure index.css is gone let's save it and let's see what happened here let me ref let's see I got all right logo here no okay yeah it's refreshing fixes everything so right now what we could do is go to the SRC new folder let's just create a components folder and let's keep everything simple. So for this project, fairly basic, let's just create a data file. And let's just do a new file. Let's just do accordion.js. And right now let's go and let's pass, uh, actually go to this little extensions here. Make sure you have ES7 installed, this one. So we can add the little snippets. So install this one and then let's go back and then accordion.js, let's do R-A-F-C-E. And then here, I'd be like, accordion, we'll save it. And then I can just go to app.js and just pass it in. So let's see, accordion. And then I can do, what I could do is control space, so it highlights it and then just auto imports. If not, you can just manually type it and you can see we got it there. So right now we can just do a little data file. So this one's pretty simple, but let's just do export const. Cause one data and then here you just basically pass in an object with your value so you'd say question and then like what do you call a dog magician and then you basically say comma and then you can call this one like answer and there'll be a flat bra ka da bra door I have spell that red door. It doesn't really matter. And then what you do is you pretty much copy and paste this. And then you just, that's it. So what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste my original ones just to save us some time. But that's basically the data. 
and then you can go back to the accordion now and what we can do is we can actually import this at the top so we can just say import and let's just call this the data because that's what we named it and it'll just be from dot slash data and that prettier so it auto formats but we also let's go here and i got VS code so you can just click the plus sign we can just do uh yarn add styled components if you don't have yarn just do npm install and then also i forgot to add it we'll just do it afterwards but uh let's do here real quick let's do import styled from styled components and then let's just do yarn add again I forgot to add it and let's do react dash icons and then there's two icons i want to use but first let's import icon context and then that'll be from react icons and this is going to be a way to add styles by wrapping the entire icons around it and then they should do import fi plus which would just be the plus sign and fi minus would just be the minus sign from react icon slash fi now if you have your own icons then feel free to um, add those but here we should do this and now what we can do is we can create our first stock component and also since i already have let me just close it so we can just say i'm gonna call this one uh cons accordion section so again i styled this just for this example but you'd have to refactor the css or the styles to fit like your own design and for now what we can just do is uh we can actually just wrap it first we can just go like this and i can do command d so it selects the other div and then just say accordion section like that and then i want to wrap everything with an icon uh context provider so what you can do is do the parentheses by the return click here and press alt and up arrow and just put it in between there and then here let's just do icon context dot provider and the value for this would just be the this is again this is optional but i just want my icons all to be colored hashtag zero zero f f b nine and then uh we'll do size of 25 pixels here and then we'll just close it and then just wrap here so that way when i save it there's no errors and it looks like everything's good so unless i have a semicolon somewhere all right yeah so now what we can do is uh let's do this let's create a container stock component so let's we actually could just go here and just do shift all down arrow and then pretty much we can just call this container again i'm just naming these for example purposes you can name it whatever you want to and i just want to wrap everything so let's erase this accordion just call this the container and then pretty much in the container is where we're going to actually map through the data and then now we can actually display this so Right now, if you save it, nothing's gonna happen. So what we can do is just do curly braces. The file, the data file is literally called data. So I'll just say data.map. Then I'll pass in an arrow function here. And then pretty much we're just gonna return. And then let's just wrap, let's just put some fragments here. So in the parentheses, I'm just gonna call this the item for the value and then index for my key. And then basically what we wanna do is display our data so we, let's do this first so i can you can see what's happening so i have h1 and the first value i put is item so item dot the data label you called it so mine i called it the question so again this is data item dot question is shows that and then for the uh technically if i do the p tag here and just do like uh item dot answer and i save it you'll be able to see like all our jokes aka our little accordion values here so what we want to do is let's wrap this with let's call this wrap and then we'll do command x and go under the h1 and then under that i want to have a i'll just put a span tag here for the uh icons i just want to say if this is going to add some state so basically for now we could do is uh Let's just leave that for now, because uh, right now, technically, let's delete span. We need to add some state, so it's not going to make any sense. But what we could do is add this here, just so that the error goes away. 
Shit, they're down here. Well, let's just go here and let's just, let's just call this wrap so it doesn't give me the error. And what is it saying? It's not defined. It should be in the other case. So what we can do is right now I want to add some state really quick because actually let's let's style this first. So because we have the data show, so let's just style it really quick. Very basic. So I just go to the accordion. And again, this is only let's say display flex. I'm only styling it for this example, so it's not like perfectly, but it's just it's just the way I have it just for you to show. So flex direction column. Let's do align items center. We can do uh, justify content center here. Position, we'll do relative because I want to add a position absolute. Height, 100 viewport, height. And then background should be OSC, just white. So it like this. And then uh, container, we can just say position absolute. Again, I just did this for this example so that the um, design would be like this. But we can just say like box shadow, two pixels, 10 pixels, 35 pixels, one pixels, RGBA, 153, 153. Oh, shoot. Let's see. 153, 153, 0 0.3, save it. Now we got a little box shadow action. And then for the wrap, this one's pretty easy. But I'll just go here. Let me close this. And let's do background. Let's see. Hashtag 27, 2727. Save it. Okay, now we got something there. Color will be white. Display, I'll make it flex. Just by content, I want to be spaced between because the icons will be uh, spaced out. And then align items center with a width 100%. Let's do text align center and cursor pointer. And then let's just do the H1 really quick since we already have it. I can just say padding to rem with font size of two rem. So right now nothing's happening, but uh, this is what it looks like right now. And what we need to do is let's add some state. So let's go to the top. We got some use state hook here. I also need to add a comma. Yes, like this. And then I'll save it really quick. Okay. And then we can go under the accordion. And pretty much I can just say const in the first value, just the value. I'll say clicked is what I'm going to call it, the initial state, and then the function that changes it. So always say set, and then whatever you caught it. So set clicked here. Which would be use equal to use state, let's set to false. And then I'm gonna create this function called const toggle. So it's called toggle, and basically we're gonna look for the index. So essentially what value we're clicking on. And then we're just passing curly braces. And then here I'm gonna say if, well, what happened? If it's clicked is equal to the index, then I want to return set clicked to no. So essentially this is saying if uh, if click question is already active, then close it. Because if you if you have it already open, like you don't want to open it twice, right? So you want to close it. And then if not, you just you'll set the click to the actual value, which essentially ends up opening it. So right now what we can do is go to Let's see here. On the wrap, we can set this on click, and then I'll just pass in arrow function here, and then we're just gonna say toggle is the function we called it, and then look for the index. And then I wanna make sure I have the keys equal to index so that it knows what we're clicking on. And then right now, nothing's gonna happen. So let's go under the H1 really quick, and let's do a span tag here. And then let's basically pass in this. Let me do command B, you can see it. So curly braces here. And I'm gonna say if the clicked value is equal to index, then we use a ternary operator to return the fi minus icon. Else colon, I'll do fi plus. So pretty much now if I save this, you see the icons here, so I click it, 
is just changing the icon, right? So it's only changing the icon of whatever we clicked right now. But what I want to do next is, so here's a P tag right here. I'm going to wrap this with a stock component called, I'm just calling it one drop down, which is basically the drop down here. And so we can also do it, we can say um, const drop down equals to style.div backticks. So we'll just save really quick. So what I want to do is I want to say if the clicked is equal to the index, then I just want to return parentheses. Now just straight up pass in this drop down. And then right before the cell closing uh, or the curly brace, we do colon. Also, I want to be null. So I save it. It basically looks like this. So this is our code right here, right under the wrap. So now if I click it, you can see you can see that we have it like that. So now we just got to finish the styling. So pretty much you can go and uh, like, let's see, H1. Under the H1, I can target the span and just say margin dash right of 1.5 rem. And then for the drop down, we can just pretty much say background hashtag 1C, 1C, 1C. Save really quick. We can open it so you can see it. And then color hashtag 00FFB9. You can do the width 100%. You can set the height to 100 pixels. Display is flex. You can do flex direction is column. Justify content is center. Align items to be center. Border dash bottom, which would be one pixel solid hashtag. 0, 0, FFB9 and border. This again, this is just optional. I just want to add this effect, which would be solid hashtag. Same exact thing. 0, 0, FFB9. And then last but not least, we'll just do P tag, would be um, font size 2 rem. So I'll save it here. And then I just added an app.css. I'll just paste this in because it's basic. But uh, here I just reset everything. So like margin padding, block sizing. And voila, we got the accordion. So again, this is just super simple and basic, but this is one way to implement it. There's multiple ways you can do this. But again, let me know alternative ways. Refactor to the code, send me your link, I'll check it out. And aside from that, go ahead and like the video. If you enjoyed this, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down below any other videos you want me to make, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.